So first official check-in of day three, and it's, it like, at the end of my last vlog, I said that I was dumb and got distracted by a friend's live stream and didn't read anything, and that's true, um, and I didn't end up finishing The Wise Man's Fear. I still haven't. I kept watching the live stream for about an hour, and, um, I... I was going to continue reading at 1, and it's like 1.15, but I only got three hours of sleep yesterday, and I am really, really tired. I'm going to see if I have the energy to continue reading, and if I don't, then I'm just going to wait until tomorrow, um, which is kind of sad. I'm already behind, I feel like, because I didn't finish The Wise Man's Fear. Or not The Wise Man's Fear, The Slow Regard of Silent Things. Have I been saying The Wise Man's Fear the, this whole time? If I have, oh well, but I mean The Slow Regard of Silent Things. So, I... I don't know. I'm Now I'm worried, because I'm like... I I spent two days reading two books that aren't even 300 pages, and I didn't even finish one of them, and it was the shorter one of the two, albeit more difficult to read, but if that doesn't tell you how, like, slow of a reader I am, I don't know what does. I don't know what book I'm going to read next. I might, um, do the book-to-movie adaptation next, because, um... I was going to do How to Train Your Dragon, but How to Train Your Dragon is no longer on Netflix, the movies. I could watch, like, the TV show or something, but I don't want to. So, um, I decided to do The Little Prince, which is a Netflix original. So, if it is not on there, I'm going to be really irritated. Um, I can get, I can listen to the audiobook of that I lied again, <laughs> as I have done several times in these videos already, and I did finish the book, and I... <sighs> I loved this. I, I really, really did. There is no talking. There is no action. Like, there is one character. There are inanimate objects, and the entire story is description. There is no, like, nothing that you would call, like, generally call story, I guess, which he even addresses at the very, very end in the author's notes about how this is not really much of a story because nothing's really happening. But the thing is, Ari is so interesting. I find her completely fascinating. So whether there's talking or not, seeing what she does, seeing what she finds important, looking at things through her point of view is really, really interesting. She's such a particular person, like I've said before. And... She can't, like, not that she can't, but she doesn't function well. Well, she really can't function when certain things are not exactly a certain way. Like, when things, even just a little amiss, happen, she, it's like the end of the world. And I don't know, it's just, it's so interesting. It's so interesting. I, I really like this book. This is probably, like, made me even more excited for Doors of Stone because I want to know why Ari is important. I want to know why she was worth making a novella for. I started reading again at 1, or 1.30 about, um, and I just finished and it's 3.30. It took me two hours 
to read and digest about 60 pages, if that. I don't even think it was that many. I think it was maybe more like 40 pages. And I don't know, man. I, this book is so good. Like for what it is, it's simple. It's there's nothing happening really. Like one, I don't want to tell you what's in it, but like there's nothing really happening. But at the same time, it's so intriguing and it, specifically like a cool atmosphere. And I don't mean cool like hey that's cool. I mean like cool as in like not cold, but like chilled, very calm, very very calm but erratic, I guess if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, it was so interesting. Y'all need to read this, like, I mean read the first two novels to his series first, <laughs> otherwise this would mean nothing, but just, and I've heard some people say that they didn't like it because it was about Ari and they didn't really care about Ari. But, like, I feel like she's important. She might end up not being important, and even if she isn't, that's fine. But, like, I feel like she's fairly important. I don't know why. I don't know what reason she would have to be being important. But, like, he, Patrick Rothfuss seems like the kind of guy that would not have a character just to have a character. Especially one so fascinating. So, I don't know. But I'm going to go to bed because I am very, very tired. I so I'm about to go to the doctor, get my stuff. I'm probably going to go to the library and pick up my book that I need for the um, Beautiful Spine Challenge. And then I'm going to get, um, see if they have the little prints. Um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm probably going to watch the little prints first while I'm doing some stuff. And then I listen to it, but, um, yeah. That's my plan for right now. This is a different car than the one that I was in yesterday. This one's actually my car. The one I was in last night is my mom's. Because this one is a standard. And standards are harder to... Uh, standards are harder to go to the drive through in. So, but yeah, that's my plan. Also, I'm going to change, I think, my, for my red beanie to this one for the, um hat challenge because this one stays on my head better so it's hot today it's like 103 or 4 degrees which isn't as hot as it has been but it's still 103 or 4 degrees and that's just ridiculous okay texas calm down library time time for some awkward attempts at aesthetic shots <laughs> I did get The Golem and the Genie by Catherine Wicker, or Wicker, I'm not sure. Um, and this is for my beautiful spine challenge because I think that this is really, really pretty. Um, it's my longest book, so let's hope that I get it um, done. But since they didn't have the little prints, I'm going to have to just go with what Goodreads says is the page count for my. Um, for my page count add up, I guess, at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go get a drink, and I'm gonna go home. Yeah. 
I'm back. So I did not end up getting a drink because it was way too busy. So I will probably go back later and get one. Um, but until then. So, uh, so I am going to really quickly take a Instagram photo for today. Um, and then um, it won't be going up right now but um yeah and this time I'm going to do the aesthetic thing correct excuse me correctly and actually get blue things to put behind the blue book and some gold things to put behind the gold book and hello there you are hi but anyway I also realized like after I left the library that all of those like aesthetic shots were with the camera the wrong way so there's that but you know that makes it aesthetic, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go make this picture. Got my Instagram picture made, got my coffee and Mountain Dew and water, <laughs> lots of beverages. Got Netflix up, I had to change cause I was like, you know what, I wanna feel, I wanna look cute cause I'm wearing cute makeup today, but um, <clears throat> it was too hot for that crap, so <laughs> I had to change, but now it is time for The Little Prince. What's up? Back on my computer, because I'm looking like Cindy Lou Who, because I'm about to reshave and trim my hair. Um, but I wanted to check in first. So, I just finished the movie, maybe like 30, not even 30, like 15 minutes ago or so. God, I missed all of my hair that I don't want shaved and like plastered to my head. Um, and I'm about to listen to the book, which is only um, uh, an hour long, which it won't even take me that long to shave my hair. So. I should have that down and out soon, and then I will read, um, or I will start probably Mr. Penumbra, because it's easier and it's shorter, so I'll do that next. Yay. Time to shave my head. Back in my room, um, I'm still listening to The Little Prince. It's, this is audiobooks two hours long, not an hour, but it's like barely under two hours long. Um, so this should be finished by like 30 minutes. It's 6.40. Um, I'm going to eat dinner soon. My mom is making it. Thank you, mom. Um, and then I'll come back and finish the audiobook. At the end of this audiobook, they will put my page count at 484, which is pretty good for three days. That's well, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good for three days. Um, and then, I'll, like I said, I'll start whatever it is that I'm starting. I don't remember what I said. I think I said Mr. Penumbras. So, I finished. Sorry, my fan is on. You can probably hear it. I finished The Little Prince. So, that puts me three books in and two challenges down. I'm going to watch some booktube and then... Um, probably take a shower. I took my makeup off because I was getting tired. I look bald. <laughs> That's not the point. That's fine. Whatever. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to read a little. We'll see what I end up reading. Is this a good angle? This isn't a good angle either. Kitty. Okay. So it is 10.46, and I've been reading for about an hour and a half. Um, I've gotten to page 58 in Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. Um, I'm going to keep reading, but I'm going to make this my last update for the night, I think. Just because there's already a lot of videos specifically for this vlog. Um, and I don't really want to have to make another one later. If I'm tired, so that I can just go to sleep. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've, I've made it about 60 pages. I'm on page 58. 
Maximum Happy Imagination is the chapter title. Um, <laughs> when I was looking to see which one I which book I was going to start next, I actually decided to look at the um, page count uh, and like. I was looking at The Anvil of the World, which is the book that I'm using for a book that has a green cover, and I realized when I was looking at it, there are no chapters in that book. <laughs> it is all one long story, which I guess is fine. However, for me, I'm very much someone who's really bad at stopping if I don't have like a very specific stopping point, like chapters, and, <laughs> like, and it's not because... Um, I don't want to stop or like I, I don't come to a stopping like I don't see it's not that I don't like or it's not that I'm not conscious that I'm continuously just reading so much it's more of the fact that um, I don't really use book um, what are they called bookmarks I don't really I don't really use bookmarks I just stop when with each chapter and remember which chapter I'm on. Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to have a really hard time finding places to stop. Um, and I, I do have bookmarks, so I, I'm going to use them. But, like, I w I'm going to have a really hard time finding where to stop for that one. And I think that's going to be really frustrating, especially because, like, there's no stopping point. So it's like, I'm... S I'm either going to be in the middle of a page or in the middle of something every single time. I have to stop for some reason, and I feel like that's going to get really frustrating. But it's okay. I'm still going to read it. There's, It's fine. I'm still going to read it. Um, I'm just going to be mildly annoyed the whole time. Um, but yeah, anyway. Uh, what does that put my ahead? 484 plus 60. Hold on, math. 134 pages, I think. Or 532, because I haven't finished, because I haven't quite in, quite gotten to 60 pages. I think that puts me at 532 for the, as of this last vlog, as of 1050 on Wednesday. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if this is... Like I said in my other one, I don't know if this is going to end up being two vlogs in one or what. It probably will end up being two vlogs in one, I'm thinking. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Probably tomorrow afternoon again because I'm... I sleep a lot. <laughs> Goodbye.